Hi everybody and welcome back to Sonic 06. In the last part we uh, went through the um, the underground lab in Soliana and now we're on to part 10 and the final part of um, Sonic's story. So, nice. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> That's a bit more Eggman-like. It's a bit better than the... because uh, a, a lot of his mannerisms don't seem to be very... Eggman slash Robotnik like. Apparently it's morphing time for Eggman. <laughs> so here we go, the final boss of Sonic's story is the Egg Wyvern. And this boss is fucking annoying. So yeah, collect some rings at the beginning. It's always a good idea to have rings. Especially in a boss fight. So uh the Egg Wyvern always starts up by circling you and then it fires a load of um, lasers at certain areas. You can see where they're going to land so just avoid those standing in those areas and you'll be just fine. And then he comes in to attack, you home and attack the horn on the top of his head. And you have to lure him into a f some falling debris. Don't think I actually hit anything but whatever I'll take what I can get. And then he, uh, <coughs> then he decides, then he uh, uses these uh, missiles to blow up, uh, to destroy some of the uh, footings, uh, some of the footholds in this, um, on this uh, area that you're standing on. He then circles and it's uh, pretty much rinse and, rinse and repeat, pretty much. Um... Run away from the lasers. Run away from the lasers. So yeah, it's pretty much the rinse, uh, uh, lather, rinse, repeat. And he will come in again and you've got to home and attack him. Um, the only annoying part of uh, this, um, <clears throat> the only annoying part of this boss fight is the um, is this section here with trying to find these, that hit. That's bullshit. <laughs> Um, is trying to f is trying to see where the um, debris is to uh, get him off because if you don't do it in a certain amount of time, he'll just throw you off and you'll have to start all over again. Luckily, he doesn't destroy um, any of the um, any of the footholds during this point, any of the thing you're standing on at this point. Uh, if you you know mess up. Otherwise, that'd be really fucking annoying and make this boss fight really, really cheap. Um, but w all you have to do uh, instead is to... It, all he does is fires his laser and then he comes in and you can only attack him again. He only destroys the footholds once you've um, actually caused damage to him, so... It's all about um, just having the luck and uh, how long the boss fight uh, takes depends on basically the debris falling you know whether you can get to the debris quickly enough and it's a bit luck based so it's kind of annoying <laughs> as a boss fight oh camera camera obey me camera um but there are worse there are worse fight to be honest <clears throat> that shit that this game gets this is a bad final boss um there are certainly worse final bosses in this series. Um, one that instantly springs to mind is the um, Sonic Generations final boss, the Egg. Uh, what's that called? Time Eater. Sorry, and that's just annoying because uh, you can only attack him when you're in 3D Sonic mode, like modern Sonic mode. Hey, second hit. We're a quarter of the way there. I think we're a third, actually, a third of the way there. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, with the time eater, uh, you can only attack him when you were, when you were modern Sonic, like in the three D mode. But what would happen is that quite often you'd be forced to go into two D mode to basically pick up rings because you're constantly losing rings as you're Super Sonic. Oh shit! You cheating bastard! That's a new attack. Anyway, um, so yeah, with the time eater, it was pretty much a case of just. You have to collect all the ring. You have to collect as many rings as you can in the 2D section, and then wait till he 
um, change it to the three back to 3D, and then you can try and go in to attack him. And it was just um, <clears throat> an incredibly... It just wasn't a very good boss fight, it just wasn't fun. And uh, this one I would say is a bit better. I still don't... I still think they could have done a lot better with the boss fight. <clears throat> it could have been a, a hell of a lot better, but um, it's not... <clears throat> Basically it's just not abysmal. Yeah, he's, now he starts... Um, he starts chaining up his attacks. He now doesn't do the laser anymore, instead he does like a uh, a bomb attack. He then he follows that up with the multiple lasers on one target and all you have to do is uh, home and attack him, home and attack him to cause damage. So you home and attack the one of the guns, and then you home and attack him. So yeah, I'm just waiting. Where are you shooting? Where are you shooting? Need to keep an eye on you. And yeah, so he's slowly destroying the um, the footholds. You know, the uh, platform that you're on. And the best thing to do here is to just keep moving. Oh, shit. <laughs> the best thing to do at this stage is basically just keep moving as much as you possibly can. Wait until he charges that up. Move out of the way. Yeah, the biggest problem is... Um, the biggest problem I have with this section is the fact that um, it's quite literally just ripped out of the uh, Sonic Adventure... Uh, the original Sonic Adventure boss fight from um, the original Sonic Adventure boss fight is basically nicked straight off straight from that because in that you do pretty much the same <clears throat> you pretty much do exactly the same thing oh screw you that's something else I don't like you you get blown up and uh, the rings just scatter further away from you because the rings get affected by being blown up and look I have no rings Shit, I have no rings. Can I do this? Can I do this? Well, luckily at this point you don't really need a ring because what he'll do now is he'll blow up. Basically, you just need to keep an eye out for what he's blowing up. Because he'll blow up all except one, I think. Yeah. He'll blow up all except one little square. And all you have to do is wait until he lines up. Because he doesn't blast you, which would kill me at this point. <laughs> Why he doesn't do that, I don't know. Yep, he goes for the homing attack. And one homing attack, you're done. And now prepare for the worst death animation ever. His mouth's not moving. It's literally just a frozen model. <laughs> that is one of the worst death animations in video game history. <laughs> That's fucking appalling. And that boss fight took me 7 minutes 13 seconds. Which is... and that's still a B-rank. <laughs> yeah, that fight can take in a ridiculously long amount of time if you um, don't get a good... Um, if you don't get a good, like... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> if you don't get a good... oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> basically if you don't get a good like um, cycle with all the uh, debris falling on every single attempt on every single like attack that you have a go of then it's gonna cause massive amounts of problems that is a terrible message <laughs> to give to kids whatever anyway here we are with the good animation and I will say that um, this section here of him, of him and Elise escaping the um, the exploding egg carrier is actually pretty damn good. I mean the um, the animation is a uh, pretty good. Um, it's entertaining to watch, and it's just um, and the graphics look pretty damn good in this instance. It's just a shame that the rest of the game and the rest of the cuts and the majority of the cutscenes look so shit. Oh fuck, she's dead. Oh well. No oh, shit, she's still alive. 
And now here comes one of the. Ugh. Oh, this section is. This thing is terrible. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. This is where. <laughs> This is where <laughs> this is where Sonic gets his bad rap when it comes to um, voice acting. Completely and utterly dreadful. And that's it. We've just got the credits to sit through, which is uh, how long? Shit, it's eight minutes long. <laughs> eight minutes of fucking credits. And I'm gonna sit through these four times. Oh my god, I ki I am an idiot. Anyway. So that's the end of Sonic's story. Uh, and this is a Sonic's um, individual song because each um, each character has its own um, song. I know that um, I think Silver's is um, Dreams of Absolution is called, I think it's called, and Shadows is um, all, hail, all Hail Shadow. I don't know the name of this one in particular, but I don't particularly like it. It's not the best song in the world, but whatever. It's, um, <clears throat> sorry, it's uh, decent enough. Okay, so let's talk about the story itself. It's completely and utterly fucking pointless. The whole story is pretty much Sonic... Sonic saves Elise. Robotnik gets Elise back. Sonic saves Elise. Sonic. Uh, <laughs> Robot, uh, Eggman gets Elise back. Sonic uh, saves Elise and he keeps on going and going and going until he finally does save her on the egg carrier. It, it's just. It's a really weird thing that they decided to do because essentially. Sonic's story does has nothing to do with the main narrative of the game, which is weird considering that the game is called Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> he he doesn't have anything to do with the main story. It's in Shadow's story where you get all the um, important information and all the important kind of uh, the you know the all the stuff which affects the main plot. In Sonic's story, it's basically like they just decided, you know, what? fuck it. <laughs> Mario is really successful. Let's just nick his story, and we'll make it. We'll make our own princess, and we'll just have Sonic save her over and over and over again. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! It's just, I can't even say. <laughs> the story itself is. Is it bad? I get. I yes, I guess technically it is bad. I've heard, I've seen worse stories to be honest, but it's just it's Sonic's game, and he doesn't have anything to do with the major plot. He's just this perif. He, he it would have made more sense to me to have Sonic as the major plot. And to have Shadow and Silver have their own personal stories that they have to go through. But instead they do it whereas where Sonic is in this love story type thing and he's doing his own thing, Silver's doing his own thing, and Shadow's got the major plot. It m makes no damn sense. It, d it just doesn't work as a story at all. It's just terrible. And. It just makes no fucking sense to me as to why they would do this story with Sonic. Anyway, uh, uh, enough of the story. It, plain and simple, Sonic's story sucks. Uh, <clears throat> hang on, there was motion capture in this game? Holy fucking shit, what did they use? Jesus Christ, who did they use for this? No way somebody acted out Sonic's fucking laugh. Oh, what a load of crap. Whatever. Uh, and that's... The, the song's finished. Which means we get to the good song now. Ah, uh, Yes, yeah, so that is a really good track. I love this track. Um, but uh, that's beside the point. This is the main theme of the whole game. Which I can't remember the name of. What's it called? 
Oh, His World. It's called His World by um, Crush Foy. Uh, good track. Anyway, let's talk about the um, gameplay now. Let's talk about... Uh, I'll talk about each of the characters that we play as. Starting with Sonic. He's sluggish. He's stiff. Uh, he's slow. Uh, he, His jumping is completely and utterly... You can't control Sonic while he's in the air that well. Um, his homing attack is his homing attack is incredibly weird because it has like a recovery animation, and you can't do the kind of stuff that you did in Adventure and Adventure Two and even Heroes uh, because you know in those games you pretty much you could spam the homing attack by just pressing it over and over and over again and it didn't ha need a recovery animation for some reason they decided to put a, rec a recovery animation in this one I don't really get <coughs> sorry I don't really get why they went with that decision it's a bad decision and it just feels shit Sonic is the best character in the game and that's kind of sad because he just doesn't control that well and you know the way he controls in Adventure 1 feels so much fucking better than this. Tails is completely and utterly awful. He doesn't control well at all. Um, he's just not f hes not fun to play as. He's even slower than Sonic. He has this wo annoying whooshy sound whenever he runs, when he swings, sweeps his tails, swings his tails around. Um, he's just not... His flying is completely... An utterly awful. He drops like a fucking rock as, you know, as soon as he runs out of steam. It's just a terrible... He just, once again, he controls way better in adventure than he does here. And then Knuckles. Fuck, man. He can't hit anything. He's just... His punches are so short range that it just feels that you can't fucking hit anything. And then you've got the gliding, which he f the same problem as Tails. He falls like a fucking rock. Basically, none of the characters feel nice to control at all. And then the you know, and then uh, just to quickly, briefly talk about the levels. They all suck, apart from I would say three. I like Christ. I like um. I like uh, Wave Ocean. I think that's a pretty fun level to go through. I think that's fun to go through. Yeah, Dreams of Absolution and Hell Hell Shadow. Oh, the My Destiny is what it's called. Okay. Um. Anyway, the point I was making. Uh, the only ones I liked were uh, Wave Ocean, which is the first level of the game. I liked. What was another game I liked? Uh, the other two I liked. I liked Crisis City, and I also liked. I can't remember the name of the level. Whatever. Yeah, the levels are. Uh, Decent enough to go through, but I just don't. The levels are decent enough to go through, I just don't really like them. I just can't fucking stand those levels. They just suck. Um, they're just awful, awful, awful levels. And they just don't feel fun to go through. Uh, so yeah, overall Sonic Stories is not the best. Um, and it's just... <sighs> Sonic Story is the best. Sonic Story is terrible, and he, it has the best character in the game. In Sonic, he controls the best, but even then, he still fucking sucks. So yeah, overall, Sonic Story is kind of meh. Anyway, join me next time when we'll be go. When we'll be starting a new story, we'll start Shadow's story. So join me next time when we start to go through Shadow's story in Sonic 06. See you next time. <laughs>